Hello Ratbags, it's Jade with another Assassin's Creed guide today, taking a look at the last and final Daughter of Lerian. I've already taken out the other two, go and check them videos out if you want some tips. So, we obviously took out Goneril, but today it's term for Regan. You'll find her in the northeast coast of East Anglia, and she is like level 160, so I would suggest you don't try and attempt to take her on to at least 100, 120. But again, it just depends. If you've managed to get enough skill points to unlock all the adrenaline shots, then definitely that's good. And brush with death, again, the slow motion technique skill that I pretty much advocate on every video I do because it's just one of my favorites. Again, maybe because I said Cordelia was the hardest for me as it was the highest level, I was maybe getting a bit too complacent thinking these guys were gonna be easy. There is a lot more mushrooms you'll find in this area than some of the other fights, but I definitely needed every single one of them and it came pretty close towards the end. Also, I've been overusing the Viking dive or the Valkyrie dive. You guys have been telling me to use more of the harpoon and I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and try some new different abilities with this one. So I've gone for instead things like the poisonous shots as well as debating whether or not the piercing shot was gonna be good enough, but I thought, no, we'll leave that one alone. As it turns out, the harpoon ability really saved me in this fight and stopped me having to redo it all over again. These poor sods being just strung up like this, really, really gruesome this one. Like one of those wretched others. Not for yours. Liar, liar, liar. You will join them. Say they're using. Breathe. Can you tell? I just wanted to get on with it. So yeah, as I said, she's pretty high level. She is deadly with the fire ability. You're going to need runes that can protect you against fire. It just adds a lasting shot. Anything that will do any damage. I don't think there's any armor sets that give any abilities like that. But for sure, make sure you've got flawless armor. And so you can get the most of all the runes that are going to give you fire resistance. If you can't have fire resistance, then make sure you've got plenty of health. Now, I, like I said, I was trying a few new techniques. Making sure that I was using lots of arrows and shots and stuff. And again, I was still going toe-to-toe -to -toe using my axe. To try and see if I could get good at this. Because I normally just go rely on two dual wielding smaller axes and holding the L1 spam and it kind of works to a degree in some ways but there are definitely more opportunities to go and get arrows around the arena so make sure you scout around all the edges just don't leave the arena otherwise you'll replenish your health you can see I'm doing a fair amount of damage as well my armor set here is consisting of the raven set and I've also got a couple pieces of the ranger set what I like to call the robin hood set for you guys, it's going to be the Huntsman. So if you've got any pieces of that, because it gives extra damage if you're over 20 meters away while firing shots. So definitely get some distance between you and maybe use that as a good advantage. And you see, that's why I was doing a little bit more damage. I know I ruined these fights with these photos, but I'm trying to get thumbnails for them. So I'm sorry, but yeah, it's just the way it is. Anywho, plenty of mushrooms. You'll even find some adrenaline shots. So this is why this fight is maybe not as hard as some of the others, or it shouldn't be. But her attacks are pretty deadly. I found I couldn't get away. She has a different type of shadow. So Cordelia fires her shadows right across at you. And then you've got Goneril, which has one that tries and grabs you from behind. And it's kind of teleporting. Hers kind of leap behind her. So it's almost like she's got a backup. And it's really hard to avoid sometimes. You see, you don't know which one you're trying to do it. Hence why it may be good to have a ranged weapon like a spear. Or like I was trying to. I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was trying to get around her to get a weak spot. Because I've been pretty useless at finding the weak spots for these guys. And you can see she's gearing up. She's got similar sort of attacks to her sisters. But with crucial difference. Like she tends to cover a lot more ground with that sweeping attack. And then you can see just her average normal attacks are pretty damaging too. And then she's going to go halfway now, trigger that point and do a bit of damage to you there. So you've got to try and get out. As soon as she starts holding her head, try and run out of that circle. Quiet. A greater darkness fuels my rage. Spirit of my father's rage. And this is where it started to go wrong for me. I had a fair amount of health still, but I just wasn't dodging these fires enough. I was getting caught by them a lot. And so even though I was slowing down time, I wasn't doing enough damage with the shots. And she just got that ring around her. So you may want to focus more on melee in the first stage before she does this. And then save your arrows for the second stage. Or make sure that you've gone round at least once at this point and used your range and distance to keep away from her. I think that's probably the best technique to get rid of her early game. 
If they ever patch the slow motion skill, oh my god, I don't know what I'll ever do. I, hats off to anyone that does lots of parrying and does it that way. Your shield must be pretty OP. Maybe it's something I've got to investigate a little bit to see if I can get good with a shield and a weapon combo and see if it's definitely one. If she manages to get you on the ground like this, uh, you're going to take a pounding. So definitely make sure you've got plenty of the mushrooms and your health as filled up as it possibly can be. I've got a lovely four upgrade on that. Like I said, there are lots of mushrooms around as well. But yeah, I just wasn't timing my attacks very well. I was getting caught up all in her trails and definitely needed to work and do something a little bit more. Also noting that I didn't, again, have my adrenaline bars all the way up. You must make sure you do this. Quick, easy ways to go back to your settlement, take out the assassins dummies at the bureau if you've already built it and that's a quick way to get all your adrenaline built up before you go and take her on it should be a bit easier to keep her at range you can see that fire trail she leaves as well though so be careful that doesn't cut you off anywhere but yeah definitely a bit easier than cordelia you can see my health is so so low i'm nearly over and done with i managed to just about pick up a tiny bit of health there i'm just trying to run away get some distance i've got no arrows in my shots and i'm really thinking this is it i'm gonna have to redo this whole thing desperately looking for some sort of mushroom anything that's going to give me a bit of life and i finally find an adrenaline shot and this is where the harpoon really really just done the job threw it and it just knocked her out clean spark took out about 35 30 percent of her health and it was just in the nick of time because i was about to get owned and have to restart it again which i didn't want to do because i'm like i said i've been cocky now like level 200 i should be taking on these guys fairly easy but that's really done you will get four's breastplate pretty much his chest armor on this one just a little heads up as well you're going to be going south over to the place where you're going to find the rest of the four's arm set or try and get the helmet if you've got all three blades you pretty much go into underground crypt where the estate of the lorian sisters daughters was and then you can get the helmet and then the cloak you will get by completing all of the uh, ancient ones or kill orders but on the way as you keep going south towards where you need to go, I'm going to show you on the map in a second, you will come across for the fishmonger. He's an old drenger and he wants to basically have a valiant death in front of his son. I'm adding this now because it gives you some fantastic runes if you take him out, some of the best. It shouldn't be too challenging, but since we are getting like four's armor set and he is on the way, like I said, towards the temple or towards the grounds where we're going to put the blades in, I thought I might as well show it to you. They're called the Mentor Rune and Thor's Rune. Now these are for mythological armor sets, so you can only put them in there. The Mentor's one gives you extra evasive points, so that might be really good for taking out the actual sisters. So you may want to go here first. And the Thor's one is going to give you more armor when you stun enemies. So they're both pretty decent, but it's that evasive one that's the really the good one to use, particularly when you're taking on zealots and stuff. Here's that location on the map. It's not too far away from Norwich City, just in the sort of northeast. And we're going to be going all the way south now to them steps and accessing the Lorien Estate. Once you get there, follow it through, put the three blades inside the statue, and eventually you'll reach Thor's helmet inside this chest. And as I said, the cloak, the final piece, you're going to have to kill, get from Hypham once you've killed all the Ancient Order members. Once I've done that, I will be back with a full, complete guide showcasing, just highlighting some tips and tricks about how to defeat them all if you're still having problems, and pretty much doing a showcase of the full armor set once I get it all. But until next time, Ratbags, I will catch you lot later on.